Hey Henry, hi Cora, hi Bonnie. I can see somebody's been watching my stories and so sorry that it took me a couple days to get back to reading more but here I am. I'm going to read a few more today and finish up all the books I have from the library so I can go to my library tomorrow and get more. Do you guys ever go to the library? I bet you do. Maybe. Maybe not yet but coming soon. Anyway, this book is called The Story of Little Baba G. Doesn't say who it's by. I think this is a uh, really old, old story. Helen Bannerman, illustrated by Fred Marcelino. Okay, the story of Little Baba G. Oops. Once upon a time, there was a little boy, and his name was Little Baba G. And his mother was called Mama G. And his father was called Papa G. And Mama G made him a beautiful little red coat and a pair of beautiful little blue trousers. And Papa G went to the bazaar and bought him a beautiful green umbrella and a lovely pair of purple shoes to wear with, oh, purple shoes with crimson soles and crimson linings. Crimson sounds fancy, doesn't it? It's another name for red, the color red. So crimson is a color. And then wasn't Papa G grand? So he put on all his fine clothes and went for a walk out into the jungle. And by and by he met a tiger. Hmm. The tiger said to him, little Baba G, I am going to eat you up. And little Baba G said, oh no, Mr. Tiger, please don't eat me up and I'll give you my beautiful little red coat. So the tiger said, very well, I won't eat you this time, but you must give me your beautiful red coat. So the tiger got poor little Baba G's beautiful little red coat and went away saying, now I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle. I'm special. And little Baba G went on and on. And by and by, he met another tiger and it said to him, little Baba G, I am going to eat you up. And little Baba G said, oh, please, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up. And I'll give you my beautiful blue little trousers. So the tiger said, very well, I won't eat you this time, but you must give me your beautiful little blue trousers. Trousers, another word for pants. <laughs> I'm learning all kinds of vocabulary. So the tiger got poor little Baba G's beautiful blue trousers. <laughs> they don't fit them very well. And he went away saying, now I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle. Da, 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 da. I have blue trousers. And little Baba G went on and on. And by and by, he met another tiger. And it said to him, little Baba G, I am going to eat you up. And little Baba G said, oh, please, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up. I'll give you my beautiful little purple shoes with crimson soles and crimson linings. But the tiger said, what use would your shoes be to me? I've got four feet and you only have two. 
You haven't got enough shoes for me. But little Baba G said, oh, you could wear them on your ears. So I could, said the tiger. That's a very good idea. Give them to me and I won't eat you this time. Whoops, on the beach. So the tiger got poor little Baba G's beautiful little purple shoes with crimson soles and crimson linings. And he went away saying, now, I'm the grandest tiger in all of the jungle. La, la, la. And by and by, little Baba G met another tiger. This is the fourth tiger. And it said to him, little Baba G, I'm going to eat you up. And little Baba G said, oh, please, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up and I'll give you my beautiful green umbrella. But the tiger said, how can I carry an umbrella when I need all four of my paws for walking? You could tie a knot in your tail and carry it that way, said little Baba G. So I could, said the tiger. Give it to me and I won't eat you this time. So he got little Baba G's beautiful green umbrella and went away saying, now I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle. I have an umbrella, la 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 la, umbrella. Grandest, best, fanciest. And poor little Baba G went away crying because the cruel tigers had taken all of his clothes. Presently, he heard a horrible noise that sounded like and it got louder and louder. Oh dear, said little Baba G, there are all the tigers coming to back to eat me up. What shall I do? And he ran quickly to the palm tree and peeped around to see what the matter was. And here he saw all the tigers fighting and disputing which one of them was the grandest. And at last they all got so angry that they jumped up and took off all the fine clothes and began to tear each other with their claws and bite each other with their big, horrible white teeth. Ooh. I would not want to get into a fight with a tiger, would you? Well, I don't think I'd even want to see tigers fighting with each other. Well, they came rolling and tumbling right to the foot of the very tree where little Baba G was hiding, but he jumped quickly in behind the umbrella, and the tigers all caught hold of each other's tails as they wrangled and scrambled, and so they found themselves in a ring around the tree. And do you see little Baba G sneaking away with his umbrella hiding? I do. Then, when the tigers were very wee and far away, little Baba G jumped up and called out, Oh, tigers, why have you taken off all your nice clothes? Don't you want them anymore? But the tigers only answered, Grrr. Oh, they're still holding each other by the tail. I think, I don't think that was very smart of little Baba G, because what if they come after him? Then little Baba G said, if you want them, say so, or I'll take them away. 
but the tigers would not let go of each other's tails, so they could only say, Arr! So, little Babaji put on all his fine clothes again, and he walked off. And the tigers were very, very angry, but they would still not let go of each other's tails. And they were so angry that they ran around the tree, trying to eat each other up. And they ran faster and faster. Till they were whirling around so fast that you couldn't even see the legs at all. And yet still they ran faster and faster. Till they all just melted away, and there was nothing left but a great big pool of melted butter, or ghee as it's called in India, around the foot of the tree. Those tigers ran so fast they melted into butter. Now, Papa G was just coming home from his work with a great big brass pot in his arms, and when he saw what was left of all the tigers, he said, Ooh, what lovely melted butter. I'll take that home to Mama G for her to cook with. So he put it all into the great big brass pot and took it home for Mama G to cook with. When Mama G saw the melted butter, wasn't she pleased? Now, she said, we'll have pancakes for supper. So she got flour and eggs and milk and sugar and butter, and she made a huge plate of the most lovely pancakes. And she fried them in the melted butter which the tigers had made and they were just an, as yellow and brown as little tigers. And they all sat down to supper. And Mama G ate 27 pancakes and Papa G ate 55. But little Baba G ate 169 because he was so hungry. Well, and that's the end to a story that could have been very disastrous, but little Baba G outsmarted those tigers. Hope you liked it. Mwah.